So I'm going to a place called Umen. Now, Umen is famous for two things. That is, it's famous park, botanical gardens there. And secondly, it's got this strange tradition that's popped up in the last 10 years where it is a Mecca. Not trying to be too <laughs> ironic about you term, using the term Mecca, but it's actually the site of a Jewish pilgrimage, a city pilgrimage for the Jewish New Year. Excited to see if there's anything there that's of interest. It's not a town that is particularly famous outside of that. Uh, so. Let's go and check out Uman, halfway between Odessa and Kiev. <laughs> so welcome. To Sofiska Park. You can see behind me there um, an amazing spot. This is definitely the best park I think I've been in in the, the former Soviet Union. So that's Russia, Belarus, and Ukraine. I just looked over there and actually they have it written that it's 224 years old. The city at the time was, was Polish, if I understood correctly. So the guy who founded it was uh, Podinsky? Podotsky? Podinsky? Podotsky. Podotsky. Okay. And he named it after his wife, who's of Greek origin. So the name was Sofia, Sofiska Park, and it is standing here. We got beautiful weather. It's definitely not a city to come to on your own. Bring a pretty Ukrainian girl for sure. It'll make the experience 10 times better than it would be walking around the park on your own. But it's a beautiful spot. It's a nice occasion of a picnic here. Whether you want to actually stay in Uman or just stop off on your way to Kiev, uh, that's, that's up to you. Let's go walk around the park again. в Умані. Ми прийшли в парк Софіївський. Хочу сказати, що я дуже довго хотіла сюди приїхати. Кожного разу відкладала все на потім, на потім. Я пам'ятаю, що завжди в школі, в коледжі, в університеті ми завжди всі збиралися і багато студентів, ті, хто навчається в школі, їздять в цей парк. Але я ніколи сюди не погоджувалася їхати. Я не знаю, чого. У мене масу позитивних емоцій. І я дуже щаслива, що от ми з Конором вирішили і все одно приїхали сюди. І тут е, романтичне місце? Так, да, тут дуже романтичне, тому що я дуже бачу багато закоханих пар, всі з сім'ями сюди приїжджають, з дітьми. Тут дуже гарно можна відпочити, подихати свіжим повітрям, тому що тут дуже багато дерев. Через що ласкаво просимо парк Софіївський. Я... Гарантую, ви не пошкодуєте про те, що ви сюди приїхали. Я з цієї сторони біжу, все ок. Так, бісло. Ну, чи наші трети цього? Анжела, бачите, де бісло? Загоняємо. Праве, ліве. Праве. Левая. Все, Да-да. Телечушка прикольная. И шевера. И дальше тоже ровная вода.
south of both Uman and Pervomalsk in Nikolaev Oblast lies Mihia, which is a central point for outdoor pursuits in the region and has an old granite quarry nearby called Radon Lake or Radovnova Ozora in Ukrainian. The Strategic Forces Museum is a very cool spot in order to get a flavor for Soviet nostalgia and Soviet military history because there basically would have been the launch site in the event of nuclear war during the Cold War with the United States. Definitely, if you're in Uman and you have some time to spare and you can go further into the interior, and that is a good start uh, if you are a Soviet history buff. So here I'm in the control center for the, what would have been, where the nuclear missiles of the Soviet Union never fired them. It could have been from right here. You got a whole com command center. Pretty neat to see this part of uh, this piece of Soviet history and nostalgia. Of course, you got the Ukrainian symbols because obviously this is modern Ukraine. Ukraine gave up its nuclear weapons back in 1994 um, in agreement for the borders being respected. But okay, that's the way <laughs> things worked out. It didn't work out as they had planned, but this is definitely something that is unique to see uh, in the flesh. And just think back all those films I've watched uh, from the Cold War with the Soviets and US um, strategic forces. <laughs> <laughs> Whoo! So uh, I could be mistaken for being at the Grand Canyon. I did see the Grand Canyon once flying over it and never stopped. But this is like a mini Grand Canyon. It's a petit canyon, maybe uh, you could say. Really, really stunning. So this is the Atovska Canyon. Uh, got these very beautiful rock formations behind us and then we've got a little bit of a stream, a brook running through it obviously with some vegetation, pretty picturesque little spot and no tourists out here on this beautiful day. So these are some of the hidden gems you can find in rural Ukraine if you know where to go. So I'm heading here into the water. Oh, ice cold. Straight from the fridge. <laughs> so in two of my recent vlogs, I brought you firstly to Ukraine's Venice, which was the vlog from Budjak. And then after that, I went down to the Ukrainian Maldives, which was a general hatch very close to Crimea. Definitely some good ideas for you if you are, you know, obviously staying longer in Ukraine. Like for example, you're actually spending a month uh, or more, then you can, I think, think of doing these things. And of course, if you have uh, met someone here or you already have uh, a girlfriend here in Ukraine or if you're married even in Ukraine, then you can, of course, go on those trips. They are definitely something that's a lot different as a dating idea than just uh, let's go have dinner at a fancy restaurant. You can do something a lot cooler than that. Uh, so there are some good ideas for you in these three vlogs. Definitely go and check them all out. Whew, it is end of September here in Odessa and the sun is still shiny. It is a phenomenal Indian summer. So see you very soon in the next video. Dopobachna, Svidania from Odessa, Mama, Ukraine. Підписуйтесь на канал, ставте лайки, приїжджайте до України. Цар Експіріенс.